Hello everyone and welcome to So Many Games Little Time. My name is Joachim and today we are playing Resurgence. Alright, so i um, very excited to play this. I tried it yesterday and I made a huge mistake so now I'm trying it again. So what is Resurgence? Basically there has been, well, you know what, I'm just going to read it to you. Um, Resurgence is a game set in an alternate history of the 20th century. Humanity's worst fears came to pass, and civilization collapsed following a nuclear exchange between the superpowers. Those who lived through it now huddle together in the ruins of the old cities trying to survive, regroup, and rebuild. Basically, this is a game that you have a lot of mobile phone games of. Same like a Fallout Shelter, for example. You're building up your shelter, you're heading out into the wasteland, getting resources and so on, rebuilding your base, and trying to get as many victory points as possible. Okay, maybe that part is different, but you know. So how exactly do you play this game? Uh, you know you're building up a shelter, right? So what you do is you have different phases. First of all, you have this really neat shield that you don't need to use for uh, solo, but you do use when you do multiplayer. It says exactly what's going to happen every uh, round. So first of all, the first player token will go to the left, but there's no one here, so that doesn't apply. And a new event is drawn, but solo doesn't require any events, so that doesn't happen either. Then you have to draw from your bag depending on your compound. So, this is your compound. We are now at level 0. When we upgrade, we go to level 1, level 2, level 3, and 4. So this is actually level 1, sorry. Upgrade to level 2, to level 3, and level 4. So, if you're at level 1, you get to draw 4 chips out of the bag. Right now, there are 6 workers and my hero. My hero is the mystic. I chose him in the beginning. I chose him over the traffic cop and the surgeon. But more about that in a second. So, well, probably longer than a second. If you upgrade to level 2 and 3, you can draw 5 uh, people from your bag. If you manage to go to all the way to the top to level 4, you can draw 6 people from the bag. Now, I would like to emphasize, this is one of the mistakes I made, so 2 and 3 is the same, alright? Very important. Then, once you've drawn them out of your bag, you will be placing them on this board here. What does that mean? Basically, let's say I drew uh, these four guys, these uh, builders, uh, they're not called builders, are they? Yeah, they're all called builders. Okay, let's say I drew, drew these four. Then I have to decide where I'm going to put them. I can do like this, I can put two here, I can put like this, or I can put all of them together, or like this. It doesn't really matter, however you want it to be. However, what is important is wherever you put them, they'll be locked there. For example, if he goes here, I can only place them on the red squares on the board, on the metro spaces. These two will have to be placed on the harbor spaces. And this builder is going to head back to the compound, where you also have one space in the beginning of the game. But later on, as you excavate and rebuild your rooms, you'll have more spaces to go to. Okay? So, that happens. Now, when that happens... In a multiplayer game, and also solo, you will compare the value with other players. So I will compare with the AI, but in a multiplayer game, you'll compare with the other people. And you can see the value here. A worker is value 1. Then the special people, the ranger, the scholars, and the builders, they're worth 2 points. And then your hero, whether male or female, is worth 3 points. Now, this is important, because if you have the majority... Um, then you will go up one spot. Now you can see here, I'm at zero, the AI starts at five. Okay, so I'm gonna have to try to catch up. If you have four or more, you can see here, then uh, you get to go up two spots, okay, instead of one. And you do that for each spot. Now, if there's a tie, if everyone ties, no one gets anything. But if there's a couple of people who tie, let's say in a four player game, three, uh, two or three people tie, then they still both get the, still, still, ugh, sorry, then they still all get the uh, bonus to move forward. Um, right, I think that's, uh, that, that covers that. When you reach the bonus spaces, you immediately get it. This means one of your survivors uh, takes a rest. Basically he retires, so he's removed from the game. Of course, you're gonna choose your basic builders who are still in my bag um, because they're the, the most useless, basically. And then you keep going. If you reach the end, you get two points, but you only get them once. Um, and then here, at the end of the game, whoever is first gets seven points. If there's a tie, 
then both players get uh, four points. So and then so on, so on. Then two points for the third spot. Okay. Okay. So that's that. You've checked leadership. Then you move on to actually placing your people. Now, when you place your people, it'll be one by one. Uh, in the solo game, we'll be flipping over these mutant cards, and these mutant cards will go to these mutants will go to one of these areas. You can see there's always two, 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 and two. So they go by twos. So they go first, then I place one of my people on the board, then they go again, I place one, they go again. Now the mutants are kind of annoying because whenever they go to a spot, they'll do what it says on the board. But you'll see how that happens as we're playing or what happens. It's also in the rule book, of course. Um, right, so that's one by one that you go everywhere. What is also important is when you're going somewhere, uh, you can always activate your survivor. So your hero is your first survivor. Now the mystic is kind of special because after we've checked all the values and everything, then I could take one person and move him. So let's say I don't want him to go there. I'll just move him here and then I use my mystic. I flip him over. Next round, he'll be reactivated. And of course, you got a bunch of other people here. These two heroes were not chosen. There's more heroes in the box. But the surgeon here, whenever you go to a harbor space, you either get one fuel or one food. And the traffic cop is when you uh, complete a quest, you don't have to use medicine or ammo. So medicine or, or ammo, those are the critical supplies. These three are the basic, basic supplies. So you have fuel, bread, uh, food, and uh, parts. So in the beginning of the game, I had to choose uh, a, a hero and a mission so I chose him and this and these I didn't choose so what are the missions like for example here we have the uh, revolution square right if you want to complete this mission you need to take one of your guys go there in either position uh, well he can only go here because this is only a space for a ranger so he goes there then spend one bread and one fuel and then you would get two points now let's say uh, I haven't done this. Let's say I'm placing this guy and I put him here and then I say, oh, but I'm going to do this because I have this guy here that is not allowed. You have to do the, the mission the moment you go there. Okay. So then you get the two points and then you get to place this. You can see it's brown, right? Under here. And then at the end of the round, you'll get a bonus. But more about that later. So, okay. Here, for example, the Kremlin sortie, you know, once again, you pay one, co one part, one fuel, and then you get two points. These are the starter missions, okay? But the one that I ended up choosing was the locate access hatch. Only requires one gear, you get one point. Uh, and the reason why I chose it is because I want to get the bonus as quickly as possible and it's the easiest to complete. So these two can go back in the box, just like the surgeon and the traffic cop. So... There are ways to get missions, of course, and also, of course, all, the, all these uh, worker placement spots. So, first of all, you always have the basic spot where a regular worker can go. So, he'll just give you one gas here. But if you go there with a scholar, she'll give you two gas. So, only scholars can go there and your hero. Your hero can go anywhere he or she wants. Here, same thing, two bread, three bread, two parts, uh, one part. Here it's a bit different. You can go there with anyone, right? And then you pay the bread according to the cost of these survivors. Then you take them and you put them in your crew, right? So for example, the miner means every time you finish a quest, it will give you one point. Here, the security guard, every time you build one of these compounds, more about that later, you will get ammo. The gunsmith, every time you get ammo, you get a part. So if you manage to get these two together, they combo. And combos are really important in this game. Uh, whenever you finish a quest, you get a uh, basic good. So once again, these two would always be a point and a good, which is nice. This one is whenever you go somewhere where there's a mutant, you get a point, the smuggler. Uh, but that's another thing. If there's a mutant and you want to go there, you need to pay one good, uh, any of these five. Now in a multiplayer game, let's say this is a different color and this is a different color and I want to go there then I would have to pay two goods. So in a multiplayer game, it can get quite expensive for the good spots if you're not there first. Mm, also, if I've gone there, um, well, I guess it'll be illegal. If I go here, I cannot go there again in the same round, okay? 
only your color can only be in each square once not more than once all right so those are the survivors right another thing you can do uh, here is when you're a ranger you can take one of the basic quests um, and then take a uh, ammo as well i think you can even take one of these but you cannot complete it until you have uh, that spot all right so then here is a builder so you spend one part to build one of these uh, sections now when you build it you choose on your floor or lower so at the moment i can only reveal these three and then if i do this becomes a new worker placement spot for example if i go here I spend one fuel and I get two ammo. Or one fuel, I get two uh, medicine. And here I spend um, one good to replace it with two other goods. Of course, you also flip this over and you get the rewards. It can be anything but from resources to points. Uh, yeah, you don't know, right? And you can never peek at it either. What else do we have here? Uh, basically, you will be able to take one of the people that are still here and put it in your bag. Here, take one quest and uh, increase your mission, I mean, to, and then increase your medicine. That's basically it. You have one spot here, which means you put your worker there and you get medicine uh, or ammo. If you have nowhere to go, you can always go here. And that means you get one bread per person you put there. Okay, so that is uh, everything that you can do during that phase. Um, as far as I'm, I know, yep. And then we will also take a look. Oh yeah, on your turn, you can only do one quest. Even if you have multiple quests for the same missions, sorry, for the same area, doesn't matter, you can only do one. Then we move on to the end of the round, basically, and we do cleanup. Everything goes back, but you'll see that later. I don't want to spend any time on that. At the end of the game, what do you score points for? You score points for how high your ammo and your medicine go. You can see the points here. You score how high you've unlocked your uh, compound. You can see here, uh, 259. You will score your resources divided by 3. So you add these 3 up, divide by 3. Those are your points. You will get resources based on these end game points. Uh, in this case, it's leadership and it's power grab. So I guess if all my, I'm pretty sure if all my um, leadership tokens have reached number four, I get seven points. Uh, power grab means what exactly? I have to check. Power grab, power grab, power grab. KVP for your total leadership value. To find your total leadership value, add the numbers of all of them together. So basically, if I manage to do this, that would be 4, 8, 12, then I only get 4 points. So to get this, I need to go even farther than all 4s. So basically, this really makes me push there to go there and get points. Um, and I think that is uh, all when it comes down to end game scoring. Um, leadership tracks, directive cards, yes, resources, yes, ammo meds, yes, combat level, yeah. So the, of course the mission points, you get those throughout the game. The AI is very annoying because the AI will get 14 points regardless, all right? I also get the points for here, of course. They'll also get the points they get there. So at the moment, they will get 7, 14, 21, 28, 35. So let's say we start, let's make it difficult. We'll start at five points for, uh, 10 points for them because the difficulty level is zero, 10, and 20. Actually, no, I'm not gonna be tough. I'm just gonna start at zero, all right? So um, I think we can just about start the game now. Uh, right, so oh yeah. also at the start of the game, I also got some resources. So there's a deck of salvage cards that look like this. I drew three, I had to discard one, and then I draw an extra card, and those are my starting resources. So in this case, I have three gasoline, one ammo, one bread, one gear, and also one scholar is in my bag. So in my bag at the moment is one scholar, one hero, and six workers. So in a perfect world, I would get at least my hero or a scholar. But as we all know, the world is not perfect. Yes, I'm trying to, I'm trying to reverse psychology. Let's see. First one, second one, third one, fourth one. Okay, at least I have my hero, okay? So before I place them in the solar rules, I flip this card. Now this card will show me what the mutants get. So in this case, it's really nice. Well, not really nice. It's really nice because it's okay because the mutant face is not here. 
That means no matter where I put them or don't put them, the mutants will not go forward. But I need a value of at least three or four to move up one space on the tracks and a value of five plus to move up two spaces. Luckily, my hero is worth three. So wherever I put my hero will go one forward already. Now I have very few food. So if I were to put my hero here together with a worker, that would give me two spots forward because, oh no, it's not. No, that's just four, just one spot forward. Mm, so I'd have to put two people there just to go forward, which isn't necessarily bad because that would allow me to recruit. That's what I actually want. Would allow me to get food, which is what I also want, and parts, which is what, is, which is what I also want. Well, here then. Um, I guess it would be like worker, worker, hero. And then this last guy, um, I think I want to do this. So in that case, he has to go to the harbor so he can uh, exchange the parts to this. And that way I would unlock the ammo already. All right, so that's done. And then we compare the value. So I have three, four, five, which means I get plus two on the uh, metro scale. So it gives me two food to start with. So I'm already at four food, uh, uh, three food. And then blue is just one guy, so nothing happens there. Uh, nor do the other tracks do anything. Okay, so that's done. Then uh, solo play means we will reveal the first card. And of course, they merely go there. And then it's going to be expensive for me to go there. I have to pay one good to be able to complete my mission. But remember, I have the mystic. So at any time, I can move any of these people somewhere else once. But we'll see if I actually end up using it. Um, so... It is green, that means that I am going to have to flip over this one, I think. And then they get one point. So this is the A side, so it is Barbarian Gates. You must exhaust one of your available survivor cards and a mutant score one. Yeah, so the Mystic is already tired and they score one point. And they do this a lot, all right? They'll take away my goods, they're just basically a pain in the butt. <laughs> or at least they were yesterday. All right, so now I get to place my first person. Um, obviously, I'm going to save him for last because I need to pay there now. And I should go somewhere where I can maximize my, my uh, income. So I have three bread. So if I send one of them here, I can basically just get whoever I want um, the easiest way. So I'm obviously not going to build now. Uh, so getting the but the gunsmith combos nicely with the security guard so but these two at the end of the round will go away so I think I'm going to get the security guard so I'll put him here pay one bread and get the security guard and uh, also a ranger is put in my bag alright that is my action his action then or their action Okay, so they go to Revolution Square, which is, of course, also where I wanted to go for the bread. Revolution Square, I think that is interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. So they will complete a quest here, the highest value, which is help refugees, six points. My goodness. So they score six points, which I will put uh, here. And also, when they get anything else, uh, it says here they get an extra quest, but whenever they get anything else, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, they get another point. Um, yeah. So they just get an extra point. So I get seven points. So they're already at eight. Um, yeah. This is not refreshed, by the way. And also, after you do this, you flip over the board. So there's two sides and there's a lot of different actions that happen. It keeps flipping over back and forth. Okay, then my turn. So no need to go there now immediately because I'm gonna have to pay anyway. So I should go try to go somewhere where I can maximize my income once again. So I'm gonna use my hero to go here, I think to get two well the, to get two parts. Um yeah, I think so. I think that's best. Because she has to go to red anyway. Um, uh, 
Or I should just go with my worker, get one part, and then use my hero for here. So I get more food. Yeah, I'll just do that. So I go up one part. There we go. And then it's their turn again. And they go to the middle. Not to the middle, to where I just went, actually. They go to Arbat. There we go. And Arbat means I have to pay, I have to cough up two resources. Great. So I guess I'll cough up two bread. Yeah, I'll cough up two bread. Okay, then they are out of movement. So now it's my turn. So I'm going to go here. I'll pay one gasoline and get three bread. There we go. And then he will go... I wanted to do the mission, but... Yeah, I guess I'll do the mission anyway. I need that ammo. All right, so I will go here, get one. I'll pay one gasoline to get one gasoline. It's a zero sum. And then I'll pay one gear, so one part, get one point. Yeah, I'm on the board. And then <clears throat> my mission goes down here. So I'll get a bonus later on. And that is the end of the round. Okay, so then what happens next is... Uh, this is all done. Um, bum, bum, bum. The miner goes away. Sad that he didn't get hired. They all go to the right. And then two are drawn. The bodyguard. If you complete a quest, you get uh, med medicine. Well, oh, it's really nice, actually. And then here, the firefighter. Um, during once per turn, a builder can be a ranger and a ranger can be a builder. So, okay, so my mystic race wakes up. There we go. Then a new mission is added. Treat radiation sickness. Then uh, everybody goes back. So all the mutants go back. And my guys go to the rest phase. Now, like I said before, if you go here, you get food, but you don't get go there if it's in the upkeep phase. So you don't get the food, I mean. That's done. Then you look at what I get here. So I'll get one ammo. There we go. Sadly, this does not, none of these cards would affect this phase. And then if I want to, I can upgrade, but I cannot because I need to have three health and uh, three medicine and three ammo, uh, which I totally don't have. And uh, that's it. So then we start a new round. So I draw four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So that means my scholar is still in the bag. All right. So these four. Before I place them, I reveal this card. Okay. If I place zero or two value, then uh, they will go up one as well. If I put three, I will go up, but not them. So at this moment, um, I think what i need to do is i don't have any quests so i could keep going the ammo route and put my ranger there to get a quest and ammo um but then the the, the, the quests are really expensive only rescue a scout is what i can do which is actually kind of good because i'm trying to get three in a row if i get three in a row i can immediately get someone for free i also want food so for sure one here and another one here, because I want to go to two spots. I want to recruit people, try to get some engine going. And then my raider, my ranger, he can get me a ton of food, but he's the only one who can get me a quest at this point. Um, or I could forego getting a quest and try to build something, but then it costs me two. I'm better off with a builder. I'm going to put him here to try and get this. Uh, at this moment, this is value two. So the mutants get one. This is uh, plus one as well. So the mutants get one as well. This guy is worth two. So if I put him here, the total value would be three. I would still go forward one, but the mutants wouldn't. Um, I'm thinking if I should... Oh. I kind of want to build, but I don't have a builder. He's going to take care of that. And if he goes, yeah, I'll put him here as well. Nobody in the compound. 
No. Okay, that's what's gonna happen. So we check, I have two. So I go forward one here. And that means I can call one of my regular workers. This guy is retired out of the game. Then, and also they move up one. Then the next one is, I have value of three. So we go up, but the mutants don't. But the next one I have nothing. So the mutants go up. And so do we. So yeah, uh, that's correct. I move forward too, because it's zero. And it says both move forward. So yeah, great. All right, that's actually good news. And of course they move forward too, yeah. Which is less good news. Um, oh no, and they moved already, yeah. Because the last time they didn't move at all, okay. All right, so we're slowly getting here already and potential of getting some stuff later on, which is nice. All right, so then we reveal the first one and see how they mess up my plans. Well, I guess I already know where they're going. They're going to all the other spots. So of course they're going here, which I was not planning on, on doing, so it's fine. Okay, so they are going to excavate one of the spots, but that means that I won't be able to build there. So basically they destroy that forever. So what I'm going to destroy is, um, I think propaganda. Propaganda pushes, well, propaganda might actually be useful this, this game because these are the points, right? Uh, what am I gonna destroy? Um, they're all good, honestly. Uh, maybe the workshop. Um, no, I'll just do the top one, the headquarters. Uh, yeah, I doubt I'll be able to get that anyway. So it's two points and this. So basically they destroy it and they get three points for that. So 11. So they get two points plus the good is also a point. Oh no, just the VP. Okay, so they only get two points. Yay. All right, then my turn. So um, once again, I should go where they can't stop me or where I don't have to pay too much. I think my ranger is going to quickly go here to, or I should just hire again, actually. Yeah. So I don't have to pay extra food to get the person. So um, if I go there, the gunsmith combos nicely with the security guard. I've, that's been stated, right? Um, but then I just to make sure I get an ammo, and I'm going to get an ammo token this round, uh, for sure. So she will give me an extra part then. Uh, yeah. Yes, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to get the gunsmith for one food. It also means that I can put a builder in my bag. Builders are really nice. Okay. Um, done. Back to the mutants. All right, they're going to the barbarian gates. Barbarian gate says minus one gasoline or they get three points. Okay, so minus one fuel. Okay, I'll take I'll take the fuel hit. It's okay. It's okay. I'll take no points for you, my friends. All right, back to me. Um, I think I should probably get the ammo now because I'm going to get the bonus anyway. So I'll go here, I'll get a quest and ammo. So ammo goes up and my parts go up thanks to the gunsmith. Uh, yeah. Now, is she flipped over or not? Yeah, used once per round. So her ability is used. Okay, um, back to the zombies. Oh, no, I haven't taken a quest yet. Uh, let's see, so it has to be a basic quest, right? Um, I have a lot of ammo. So ammo I can spend. So I guess rescue a scout. That would be Revolution Square. So this one then, yeah. Because the rest I don't want to pay. Also because I have no medicine whatsoever. Okay, now it's the zombies turn. And they go, oh, well, it's good that they, I went there already. They go to the Kremlin. And the Kremlin, it means minus two. So I think these two will disappear. It's probably the right most ones, Kremlin. Yeah, yeah, two, uh, and they get two points. So basically they took out the archeology, archeologist and the smuggler. I'm not too sad about that, honestly. But the two points is, is sad though. So. <laughs> 
All right, back to me, and now I can do whatever I want. They won't stop me. So I can actually complete this, and there's no one there. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna get two food, um, and then complete this by spending one gasoline and one ammo. Um, and that gives me three points and gives me one bread. And then this will go here. So at the end of the round, it will give me either bread or fuel. And I uh, also still get ammo. And then I have one more left, him. Actually, I was going to use him to do this, but yeah. Um, what is he going to do? You can get a gear. Uh, the only thing you can do is get a gear. Yeah, so maybe that wasn't as well planned as it should be. All right, so that's done. Um, finished. Uh, these two go to the right. Inspector. When you finish a quest, gain ammo. When you finish a quest, gain a point. Paratrooper. And if you're in the harbor, uh, you can swap someone from the harbor to the compound. All right, these are also refreshed. Oh, I could have used this, actually. Wait, 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 I could have used this. So he was here, right? And I got one gear. Is there anywhere else I want to place him? So I can put him in the compound here to get medicine. Or I could still put him there. I guess I'm going to put him here because I need medicine to upgrade. I really want to upgrade. So I'll put him there. Okay. And then every, he's always flipped over, but I flipped back. Okay, done. Um... Actually, no, I want to build. I want to build this even better. Okay, so this is flipped over, right? So he's going to go here, pay one bread and pay one gear. Uh, to One bread to go there, one gear to build. Two gears to build. It's very painful, but it'll give me more ammo. And I give it one of these. I'm going to uh, release the clinic to get more uh of that gives me three points so seven um and gives me one ammo there we go all right so that's a little bit of a mulligan but you know i forgot i had my uh skill so let's see let's see let's see what can i do oh well it's just uh, the end right so i moved them already um then b the missions up And then it is resting, resting, resting. Yeah, I was looking around a little bit and my phone sometimes vibrates uh, because my wife is sending messages, but not to me. So <laughs> that's why I can ignore it. So these all go to rest. Okay, done. Then um, get rewards here. So one more ammo and one fuel because I have no fuel. And then it is, I can upgrade, but not yet, because I really need to have the medicine, but I'll be able to boost it at least. Um, this can actually go away. So put it here, whatever. Um, just call away. All right. Then, so I can't upgrade at all. And then we start a new round. So we flip this. So zero or one means the... Mutants go forward and two to three means I go forward and four plus I go forward. So these two are already in there. It's kind of good because they both have value two. So I can actually stop them from moving forward. Now, if I were to get some more special people, that'd be nice. And the first one, no. Ah, the next one, no. In Hong Kong, they would say, che. all right. So, I kind of want them to move forward on the blue area because I don't really care about the blue area. Um, these two separately will already move me forward one spot, so that's fine. I think I'll put these two here and then like this. That way I block the mutants from moving at all and then I will move forward once everywhere which would give me uh, gasoline and give me a uh, part and move me up to number four in the red already. And then I can still move someone 
uh, over to another spot with my mystic. All right, I think that works. Okay, so this will do. Well, that's what we'll do. So they all move forward one. So I get one gasoline, one part. There we go. And then we shuffle the mutants. And then we see what comes out. So we've already done two rounds. Uh, this is the third round already. So it goes pretty fast. Uh, yeah. But I really need to upgrade though. I really need to upgrade. I need to be able to draw more people. Uh, Hopefully I'll be able to get enough medicine this round. Okay, here we go. They go to the Barbarian Gate. I don't think I care about that. So Barbarian Gate is green, minus one fuel or they get points. I'll skip the fuel, it's fine. They can get, uh, they don't, I don't want, don't want them to get any more points. All right, then my turn. So what I want to do is, um, so if I build, I get a lot of ammo, but I don't want ammo. I need meds. So she is going to get take a quest and increase my medicine up and take a quest. Um, that quest will be resupply forward troops because it's two bread and two ammo, which is something that I will be able to afford down the line. But it's a bad color, though. Is there any gray or red? I guess gray. Yeah. Deliver a message for later on. I'm not going to do that now, of course, but maybe for the next round, I can get the five points, get one row and get an extra person. So that'd be nice. Back to the mutants. They go to the middle, to the Kremlin. That's not as nice because it makes it more difficult to hire someone. And in the Kremlin, it is minus two and two. So basically, yeah, these two are gone. That's too bad. They were quite good, actually, especially the bodyguard. Okay, and two points for them. My turn. So I have the builder that I have here. And if I build, I do get the... If I build, I do get the extra ammo and another gear, gear token, another parts. And of course, the bonus of building. Um, the market stall, for example, or the armory. So we can always boost so you can, uh, but at the moment getting, uh, weapons have not been a problem, but nevertheless, I will do this for one gear. I will build and I will build, uh, I will build the garage or the market stall. I will the market stall. Yeah. So, oh, that's really nice. One and one point. Okay. All right. So that has treated me quite nicely. And then let's see. They go gray. They go to Arbots, which I don't want to go there either. So that's fine. But what do they do to me? I need to spend two resources. I guess I'll spend two bread. Okay. Then I have the rest of my turn to do. Oh, by the way, I built. So this one gives me one ammo and this one gives me one part. Okay. So I need to have two bread and one gasoline, which I have. But if I spend this. Ah, shoot. Okay. I'll use him to move. Wait, before I do anything, let me do this first. He goes to the scout post, spends one fuel, get two medicine, done. So what I need now, okay, I know what I'm going to do. I flip the mystic, so this one moves to blue. Then he goes here, spends one gear to be able to go there and gets one fuel. Yeah, and that will allow me to level up. Yes. All right, end of the round. So hop, these go here. Boom and boom. Then uh, the missions are replenished. So this one, administer vaccines. Then everybody goes to rest. Uh, so they go here. Done. Then we get the bonus. So I get another piece of ammo. And then I get, I'm going to take bread. 
then uh, I can upgrade, which I'm going to do because I have three health, I have uh, three meds, I have three ammo. You don't spend those, you keep them. But I spend one uh, fuel and two bread to go up. So now I can draw five people and also excavate this. All right. Okay. Um, yeah, that's the end of the round. Oh, yeah, these also go rest, of course. Flip this card. So these cards are actually also your round tracker. So now we're over halfway. So zero to one, they go forward. Two, so this means the last three rounds. Two value, we all go forward one. Three to four value, plus one, five plus two. So let's see, I get to draw five, right? How many do I have? I think still more than five. Uh, okay, so one, that's good. Two, three. Okay. Oh, there's, I have five in total. Okay, it doesn't matter then. Okay. So this is it. Knowing that my hero is three makes it very interesting because I could get plus two, which means I could potentially try to pass them on the red track. But just going one red, just going forward on blue and gray will be able to, will allow me to cull two of my regular guys, which would be awesome. But for that, I need to have a value of two on both gray and uh, blue. So I think these two will go to gray because you don't have to be special to go there. That's fine. Um, my main guy. Uh, yeah, yeah, my main guy, yeah. Oh wait, refresh this as well. He has to do something, all right. Um, my ranger is gonna go here for food. And I think he's gonna go there. So it's two and three. Unless I put them together, that would be a plus two to somewhere. Um, <laughs> But I need to have value of two as well. Yeah, he can't be alone. He has to go with someone. Yeah, okay. So I go here, then it's three, three, two. I think that's okay. I think that's okay. Yeah, let's keep it like that. Okay, so this is three. Uh, that means we go forward one. That gives me one ammo. I'm so stockpiling <laughs> and I get a good of my choice. Um, I'm going to get fuel because I need that to upgrade more. Um, okay, then the next one is three as well. So plus one allows me to get rid of this guy. Next one is two, but that means we both go up one. So it allows me to get rid of this guy. So the only two people here are specials. So I only have two workers left, basic workers. So that's pretty good. All right. And uh, then let's see what the mutants do. Aha, uh -huh. they're going to flip their uh, thing. So they go here to, no, yeah, to the revolution square. And there they will complete one of these quests because we're now in the last three rounds. So that's kind of painful, actually. They'll make, they'll get eight points. Oh. So they go to 22. Bye bye. All right. So they go to 22. Then um, they flip the board. My turn. All right. So what am I going to do? I don't, I need, I need resources so this has already been taken which is kind of annoying but i think he still needs to go there um i can also finish a quest um by going there he could go there for a gear then spend one medicine and one buff it wouldn't really get me one of those for free though. Hmm. Which is nice. I like the mechanic. Yeah, you know what, I'll do that. Uh, I'm gonna go here. Uh, but it doesn't have to, well, it's better him, yeah. 
he will get one gear up and he will complete this which is spend one fuel spend one medicine and uh, one ammo gives me five points so 13 but it comes here and then immediately the bonus is unlocked so i can get one of these for free and i think i'm going to get the mechanic uh she's going to give me more parts which will allow me to build more and then building more gives me some stuff as well yeah or the dock worker she just gives me allows me to swap people around no i'm gonna go for the mechanic okay so i completed a quest so i get one ammo and i get one part okay all right mutants they go here to hope island i guess they overheard me minus two ammo or medicine or they get three points um oh, minus two ammo or medicine uh, uh they can have three points whatever okay so i still have four people to place Okay, let's just say I need five, five, right? So I have uh, still seven and three. So I need medicine. So for this, I need gasoline. So I want gasoline. So this guy is gonna come here, get me two fuel. There we go. All right, and then the mutants. They go here. And then it means uh, I have to exhaust one of these and then get one point. So I guess I'll exhaust the mechanic. She's the least important now and you can still move people around. Okay, so then it is these three guys, right? I can do whatever I want. So I'm gonna put him here so I can lower a part. Oh wait, is it better to try to build and excavate one of these spots? um because it will allow me to get a builder okay yeah i've got an idea all right so this guy i'm going to use my mystic so he comes here i spend one gasoline and two gears to excavate this which allows me to draw someone new from the bag i get one medicine That's really good one point then with my next guy i go here and I pull a builder out of the bag because that's the one that I just put in there. I'll put him here so my builder can go here to get two gears back. There we go. Oh, actually this one went here, sorry. Um, and then I still have my ranger. So he can either hire one of these guys for more rangers. Um, or he can get more food. I think he's just gonna get more food. Yeah. So he spends one bread and then gets three. There we go. So I don't have enough yet to move forward here, but I'm very close to moving up, up there. Okay, end it around. Um, these two go away, sadly. Boom. Two more rounds. Wow, okay very nice both of them okay so then uh missions so a new mission repair the kremlin wall then uh, rest 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 so they all rest okay they're all resting rest 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 and then i have to shuffle these as well of course and I get my bonuses, so at the bottom there, which means, oh, well, maybe I will be able to, uh, maybe I will be able to upgrade. Whoa, 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 what is going on here? Because, because um, I get one medicine, which is five, one ammo, and then I can choose gasoline or bread. Of course, I'll choose gasoline. Uh, that happens here, and then I can upgrade because I have five of each and then spend two bread and then spend two gasoline. Yes, this one rests as well. There you go. 
Well, I wouldn't know it. Cool. So that was pretty cool. All right, I forgot about that. That's nice. <laughs> okay, so next. Uh, that's all done, right? So last round. Now. Uh, no, not last round. Two more rounds. So this one here, if we have... This is correct, right? This is the fifth round? Yes. So if we have zero to two, they go forward two spots. So I need to try to get higher than three, four. But everything is empty, so all these have to go back in. And then I have to hope... I don't draw any regular workers because then I might be able to stop them everywhere. I think, I'm not sure. I'm bad at math, but I get to draw five, right? So, oh, two more. No! <laughs> ah. Okay, so basically I have two, four, six, seven, eight. So I cannot block him everywhere. But he can, he can get blue, right? He can get blue, it's fine. Blue he can get, he cannot get anything else. So basically, uh, if I avoid blue, that means I need to have three somewhere else. So, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so she is good at getting a quest and health, both things that I like. And she's also good at getting gasoline, which we also need. So I'm just gonna put her here for the gasoline. Him, I'm gonna put here for the food. Him, I'm gonna work, so here. So there's four here, so that's check. That's two here. I actually was not supposed to be there, but I can move him there later on. So what if I do like this? That's three, two, two. All right, this is three, two, three. So, but then I don't move on blue at all. Yeah, well, it is what it is. Moving on blue is not that important, actually. Uh, well, it is for the four points, but actually, no matter where I move, I'm not going to get a bonus. So, um, I might as well... Since she's getting the gasoline, I could use the gasoline for, for more medicine. So... Uh, dun, dun, dun. I think I'm more inclined to... Here, I guess it means that I still have to pay, right? Yeah, I think these are free. The... I mean, this is get a quest. I think this is get a survivor. This is build a room. I think those are free. I don't think you have to pay for it. Uh, at least I couldn't see. I mean, this is this just means immediately. Um, or maybe you do have to pay because it's the exact same icon. I think you still have to pay. I just, it just allows you to have an extra possibility to get someone, I guess. So if I jump red, I need to have five. So if I put the builder there, which isn't, but I don't need the builder at all. But if I put her there for the mission, for example, that would be five. This is zero, it's gonna move forward anyway. But he moves over forward two though, which is like really annoying. And then here will be three. Yeah, well, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, it is what it is, okay, so. Keep it like that. So this is five. So I jump two. So one, two. I get to hire someone. Obviously, I only have one bread. So it's going to have to be one of these two. Uh, I'll get the dock worker. At least that way I can still get my guy from here to there if necessary. And I get another builder, which I prefer over psychologists, to be honest. So dock worker. Uh, these are all activated, of course. So I get a... Uh, Another builder. Um, and then the next one is nothing, so he goes forward two. And then uh, the next one I have three, so I go forward one. There we go. All right. Okay, then uh, we flip the card, see what happens. All right, so these go here. So it's green, museum row. 
and that is minus two bread or they get two points. Yeah, I don't have any bread, so they get two points. Okay. My turn then. Um, I still have everything here. Um, I could go and build and excavate the workshop. And then future builders could just go in there and get any two resources I need, which I really like. I think I'm going to do that. So the irony of the thing is I'm going to send my builder. No, I'm not going to send my builder. No, of course not. I'm going to use my dock worker. So he is going to go to the harbor. He's going to go here, spend two gears, zero all around, build the workshop. And I get one fuel and two points. All right, his turn. Go to the Kremlin, which means minus two and two. So psychologists and Sepper are now dead. And they get two points. Okay. Back to me. Um, they still have one card to go, right? So I should put him later. Should try to get there first. So I'm use him to get three bread. And then they go to here. Ah, oh, that was lucky. They go to Revolution Square. What was not lucky is they get another high scoring mission. So nine points for them. So they go to 38. There we go. And then we flip this over. Also, for me, at this point, I can actually get those quests now because I'm at this point. So I could actually go and try and get it, but I don't have the resources for it at all. But now I can do whatever I want. And I can still move someone. Um, and actually, I'm supposed to get a gear. No, no, I haven't been here yet. No, no, never mind. I did build, however, so I'm supposed to get a ammo and a gear because I did build. There we go. So um, my builder is, oh, this is gone. I'm gonna go here, I think, soon. But first I'm gonna see what I can do with these two. He could hire someone else, but then I'm out of bread again. I think I should keep my bread. Um, I need someone to go here but then I don't have enough fuel. So, yeah, but he could get the fuel. So, okay, let's say he goes here, two fuel, boom. All right, so now I have enough to do this. If then I use the mystic and he goes here, he spends one fuel and we get two medicine. Now we have seven, seven, and we can upgrade to the next level, boom. And then she she is going to um, she can get a gear or a mission. Uh, I think she's going to get a mission. She's going to go here. She's going to spend one gear, and then she's going to. Oh, by the way, we did this, so we get a gear as well. She's going to go there, get a mission and increase health by one and that mission is going to be uh should be highest move up on blue that's okay build and this goes away oh no this is this is blocked yeah, sorry um hmm. i think i'll go for this seven and go up on blue just to get these points as well Okay, that is the end of this round. Okay, it's getting, it's getting close, right? It's getting close. We're almost there. Okay, so uh, done. These two move forward. Up here. Oh, another purple. Okay, interesting, interesting. Um, I'm also now wondering. Did I give myself another builder? I'll check in a second. These are replenished anyway. So I'm supposed to be having three builders, right? So this is one. 
There's one builder. So there should be two more builders in here. I'm going to have to draw five anyway. And I think there's five left, right? Four. Oh, yeah. So it's correct. Yeah. Anyway, rest, 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 rest. I did give myself the builder. Um, get my bonuses. So bullet, medicine, and then bread or gasoline. I'll take gasoline because of the mission. And then I upgrade because I need 7-7, seven, seven, which I have. I spent three food, so I'm down to zero. I spent two gasoline, so I'm down to one. So I reached the maximum there, which is nice. Then I draw six. Yeah, so four I already have, and then these go in. And then I really hope, really hope that I don't draw a worker, a builder. No, it's just a worker, sorry. First one. Okay, good, good, good. Second one. Oh, the luck. Okay, and then let's see what the uh, equation is here. 0, 2, plus 1, 3, we get nothing. 4 plus 1, 5 plus 2. Okay, so I want to, I'm already ahead of him on red, so I have to keep him behind me. So I need to have 3 on red for sure. I cannot catch up anywhere else. I now have 7, 10, I have 14 points, which is enough. I get all the bonuses except for blue. But if I complete this, I get blue regardless. I can get more health and ammo there. And a resource. Uh, I can get two points if I reach red to the end. Okay, I want to have one in red for sure. So I need to have four there. So that's purely mathematical. This is four. That gives me one. It's good enough. And then it's in the pockets, as they say. Then if I want to have plus two on blue, that would be nice. Plus two and plus one would be nice. Plus two requires five, which is this. And this is just two, so that's impossible. Um, okay, if I leave him there, we just tie, which is also good, actually. What does three get me? Nothing. All right. Three gets me nothing. If I go five here, then I have plus two. And then three here. And then this is three. Three here. That works, right? Oh, but blue is five, yeah. This is three, five, three. But of course, gray doesn't move either. Huh. With my mission, I'm not going to get the six points anyway, so I guess it's fine that way. But do I want to go two on blue, though? Maybe not necessarily. Maybe not necessarily. It doesn't really matter, to be honest. It doesn't really matter, to be honest. Um, okay. Um, is it important where they are right now? Um, I think I'm going to want to have... Um, and there over there, I think that's fine because I can exchange him to get a new guy. That's okay. Um, having my guy there, she can get gasoline, that's fine. He can get the uh, quest. Oh, quest is supposed to be replenished. Because quest is what we're going to have to go for now. It's very important. We already get plus one on blue anyway. So we can get blue up to six, but it doesn't really matter. I could tie in gray, but he wins ties anyway, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, no, we just share the points then. So actually tying with them is not bad. So I think it's better to have five there instead of blue. So I think she... Because with grey we could potentially tie, with blue we cannot. So blue just needs three. So she can actually go to grey, which is five. Yeah. 
Okay, and I can always move her back. Okay, cool. Let's do it like that. So this this is three. So three is means zero for both. Nothing happens. This is also three. Nothing happens. This is five. I get plus two. So I get one ammo and one health, one meds. There we go. Cool. Then let's see where the mutants go. Barbarian gates. All right. So minus one gasoline or they get plus three. I'll do minus one gasoline. I don't want to give them any more. Actually, no, they can get three points actually. Because the gasoline I can use for the missions, which is way more than the three points I just gave them. Okay, my turn then. Um, the downside is I'm going to lose my gasoline regardless if I want to go there. All right, I'm going to... I should go here last. Um, is there anything that can give me extra gasoline? No. I have no food, so I should get food first. Um, I have no raiders. Rangers, sorry. Ten, 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 ten. I'll just get two food. Or I'll use my mystic and my hero is going to go here for three food. There we go. Their turn. Goes to purple, Hope Island. Um, and that means he's going to take something away and destroy it. He can get this. Actually, no, I might still be able to can get the mission, I guess. No, propaganda. Oh, three points. <laughs> Uh, okay, um, back to me. That was a bummer. He's gonna go here for two gear. And then also immediately complete this. So one ammo down. Oh no, he can't yet, he can't yet. Oh, but then he shouldn't go there yet. So put it that back down. Um, we should get gasoline first. So, okay, he's gonna go here anyway to get two gasoline. Then is the mutants with the last turn, and of course they go there now. Yeah, typical. So they block that area, and they do minus two resources or minus two ammo and medicine. And minus two bread, then I guess. All right. My turn. Okay, so now. He is going to go here, spend one bread for two gear, and then do the mission. So spend one ammo, spend two fuel, spend two gear. I get seven points, 23, and I go up one on blue, which doesn't really matter at this point. But this is gray, it goes here, there we go. Um, now I can do whatever I want, right? So, uh, I can move her to here. She can get us some gasoline, uh, but I don't see how that helps us. All right, he is going to go here, which actually, uh, we gained, do we gain ammo? I don't think we gained ammo, right? No, we spent ammo. Uh, we didn't build. We did do this, so we get one gear. And then I use this to move. Uh, wait, 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 wait. To move her to here. So that gives me one medicine. And I can get a quest. So, uh, boom, 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 boom. They're incredibly difficult to get. Because also you need to be able to get there. For example, um, this one would be possible, but I need to get here, which would be possible if I sacrifice him to get someone new, but then I don't have enough uh, resources to get there. Uh, because it's three gears and two, it's too much. It's basically all too much, especially with the food. 
This one I could do. So I thought this one I could do, but not really. Um, so I don't think I'll do this after all. Um, I guess building will get me more ammo. Uh, but then... Wait, I made a mistake, right? It was like this. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. Um, well, there's not much that she can do either. I guess she should just do this anyway. But then, um, quest wise. There's nothing much I want to do. Like only repel flying mutants, but then the problem with that is that I just threw away points. I mean, I guess I get five, but I lose four. I guess it's still better. All right, let's do that then. Put this one here. Okay, and then the other two. Um, but then one needs to get here. So he goes here, the new one is drawn, and then I can freely place it. So, dun 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 dun, this one. Oh, of course, he drew his brother. Okay, so he could go here now, I guess. Um, which would cost us a gear. It gives us one gas, so just go here, just a gear. I should just pay one fuel, get one fuel. Pay one, and then one, two. Actually, it only cost me two points, and I get five in return. 28. And then one of them can go away. Yay. Then I have one more guy left that goes there. Uh, I don't think it gives me any points, but oh, I can't. There's no food. Ah, food, of course, resources give me points. True. I'll go here then. Plus two. All right, so it's time for endgame scoring. If you hear anything in the background, it's because the illusion, illusion has just arrived. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's count it out. Huh. Okay, let's see. I don't think it's gonna end well, we'll see. Let's do the end game scoring for them first and see if I can catch up. Um, end game scoring for, this, for the solo mutants. Dun, 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 dun. So they score position leadership tracks so at 7, 14, plus 4 is 18 for them. So uh, 18 plus 44 is 62. Then the maximum points here, which is another 14. So that's 26. And uh, that is it's so defenders researchers and builders they'll score 12 for three points but we didn't have any of those all right and then it's my turn to do end game scoring and that is here so let's take a look highest level i was able to do that nine points so 37 leftover ammo and meds so that is four and four so that's eight so that's 45 then leftover resources divided by three, that's five. So it's just one point. And then leadership tracks. So I get seven here and then another eight. So that's 15. So 15 plus 46 is uh, 61. And then uh, directive cards. So I did have seven, 13, 17. So I get seven points here and seven points here. It's so another 14. So that's 25. Oh, you're kidding me. I lost 75 to 76. <laughs> no. But at least it's much better now than yesterday when I played it wrong and they defeated me by 60 points or something. <laughs> so. So I 
figured I must have done something wrong. But I also played with uh, the next level difficulty, so then would have actually had just 10 points more. So actually changing difficulty only gives them a higher amount of starting points. That's the only difference. Okay. Well, that was cool. I'll give you uh, a rundown of how I feel about it after I've played uh, one more time, I think. That'll be better. You got an idea now? I think I played it correctly, but you're never ever sure. That's what the comments are for. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Uh, I was Joachim, and I always will be. See so many games all the time. Bye-bye. Subscribe! <laughs> Please do. <laughs>